The following video is sponsored by vend-co.com. Good day everybody, today we're going to be looking at the game Monopoly Stock Exchange. This game came out in the early 2000s, and this is a game that was not published in the United States. The version that I have comes from the United Kingdom. Anyway, the object of this game is you're going to try to be the last player standing, and hoping that you don't go bankrupt, or you're going to try to have the most amount of money in a set time limit. So we'll go ahead and go over some of the components over here. Uh, very beginning, you've got your game board. In place of the properties, you now have what are called companies, and each of the companies are going to have a number on them. And these companies are also going to be having shares of stocks that you're going to be able to buy. Um, each company is going to have nine shares of stocks available, and uh, I'll talk about how that all works here in just a little bit. You also have spaces that say bull and bear, and these are cards, the bull and the bear cards. And uh, if you roll and you land on that, you're simply going to pick one of the cards up. I'll show you some of them. The bull cards are typically good cards. Uh, so this one says you received interest on your cash holdings, uh, collect 20% extra. Here's one that says advance to a space of your choice, collect 200 million and any other dividends. Uh, here's another that says advance to go. Here's one that says uh, you profit from a takeover bid. You can sell shares at double the price. So most of these cards are going to be good cards. On the other side, you've got the bear cards, and most of these cards are going to be bad cards. Here's one that says pay 10 million for each share you hold. Uh, Press, pay 10% of your displayed wealth, uh, a lot of these different types of cards. Uh, now there's also a card that says go to jail, and then there's also a card that says get out of jail free, and I'll talk about jail here in a little bit, but if you have a get out of jail free card, you'll be able to use that to get out of jail. Also, you have four retail stores over here. These take place at the railroads. You got the Body Shop, Salisbury's, Woolworths, and Tesco. And uh, the way these work are similar to railroads, uh, depending on how many that you have, if someone lands on it, then they're going to end up paying you that amount of rent. So if you ended up owing, owning two of these companies, they're going to end up owing you, say, 100 million pounds. You also have the utilities, PowerGen and British Gas in this case, and uh, they work similar to the ones in the regular Monopoly game. If you own one of these utilities and someone lands on it, they're going to end up paying you either 10 times the amount shown on the die or 20 times the amount shown on the die if it turns out that you own or are running both of these. You also have money, and this is going to be in pounds, and at the very beginning, everybody is going to be receiving 1,500 million pounds. You also have the free parking space. If you land on that, nothing is going to happen. This is the go to jail space. If you land on that, you are going to go to jail. Also, you've got a couple of tax spaces. You've got the income tax here and the capital gains tax here. Then you have the go space, and this is where everybody's going to start. Whenever you pass this, you're going to collect $200 million in salary and any other dividends or rent that is owed to you. Uh, so you've got six different types of tokens that you can pick from. These are your typical Monopoly tokens. You'll simply pick one and then you'll go ahead and place it there on the go space. And then we have the just visiting space over here. If you land on that, nothing's going to happen. Now in place of the houses and hotels, you have what are called offices and then head offices. You'll be able to go ahead and build these once you own or run a complete color set. Uh, so if you ran three of these blues, you would be able to go ahead and start building the offices. And the card will go ahead and tell you how much each of the offices is worth. So for an individual office, it'll be 50 million pounds for this one. If you want to get a head office, you'll go ahead and pay the 50 million extra and then turn in four of the offices. And the prices are going to be different depending on which company that you have. And this is going to jack up the rent and the share price even further. Now in this thing, we've got two dice, and what you're simply going to do is you're going to roll the dice, and then you're going to go ahead and move your token that amount of spaces. If you roll doubles, you'll get to go again, but if you roll doubles three times in a row, you're going to end up going to jail. We also have the little stock exchange unit over here, and uh, this unit tells you various things. Right over here is the company, and this is going to tell you the company number, which coincides with the company numbers over here. This tells you how many offices or head offices uh, that a player has on that company. This B tells you how many shares that the bank has available. All of these are the tokens, and what you're mainly going to be seeing under here is how many shares of that you own of a particular company. This here represents money in pounds, and this is going to share various uh, types of information. The main thing this is going to be sharing is how much each share is worth, and this number is going to be going up and down. Uh, and then you have the plus and minus over here, and this is going to mainly tell you uh, if you owe the bank money or if they're going to end up owing you money by the time you land on go. Let's say the dog lands on KLM. 
So let's just say that this company has not been floated, meaning there's nobody that has any stock in the company. So this is going to give me the opportunity to become what is called the president of the company. If I become the president of the company, I'm going to go ahead and receive one of these cards. And uh, this is going to tell me the cost of the offices and the head offices if I decide to build them, if I happen to have a complete color set. And the way you become the president is that you're going to buy a majority of the shares. In this case, you're going to buy five shares of the company. So what you'll do is, let's say I landed here and I said, okay, no one's floating the company. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase some shares in the company. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and hit buy from the bank, which is the shares, hit the dog. And then I'm going to go ahead and punch in the company number, which is three. And then this is going to go ahead and tell me that I've got five shares and how much I'm going to owe for these shares. And this is the current stock price right now. Now, in the game, you're going to have the opportunity to sell these shares back to the bank. And what you want to try to do is you want to try to sell them back for a higher price than what you actually got it for. So if you spent uh, 21 pounds on it and it jumped up to, say, 40 pounds later in the game, if you sell those shares off, you'll go ahead and get the profits from that. So I'll go ahead and hit confirm. And now it'll show that I have five shares of the company. And this is the share price, as you can see. It's going up to 20, to 21, to 22, to 23. And during the game, it's going to be going up and down. And again, you're going to want to maybe sell these shares when uh, that goes up. Uh, so you hit the confirm button if you want to just scroll through the screen like this. And it'll show you all the companies and all the information. Now, one of the big differences in this game is that you are going to only receive payment if you're collecting rent from a store or from a utility in all the other in the companies when it comes to the companies you're going to be collecting that rent once you land on or pass go so let's say it's the boots turn and the boot ends up landing here on klm now he's going to go ahead and owe me rent so what i'm going to go ahead and do is say rent hit the boot icon this will tell him the company number and this is going to tell him how much rent he owes me right here in this case he owes me 10 pounds so i'll go ahead and hit confirm and then the rent is going to be paid as soon as uh, the owner of the company hits go. So the dog in this case is not going to get anything until he hits go. Now, since the boot has landed on this, he's going to have a couple of options. He'll be able to buy one share from any one of the companies that is floated, or he'll be able to buy two shares of this particular company. And the reason he might want to do that is, number one, he could try to make some profit off of it. But if he lands on this space again, that is going to significantly lower the amount of rent that he's going to pay. So let's say he decides he wants to purchase two from there. So he'll go ahead and say buy from bank. He'll go ahead and hit his icon, which is the boot. Company number three. Let's say he's going to go ahead and buy two shares. That's the maximum amount that he can buy in this case. This is how much he's going to pay. It's the 60. This is how much they're worth right now, which is 30. So that's gone up like uh, eight pounds already. He'll hit confirm, and now he's got two shares of the company. Now, let's say the ship landed here on Swiss Air, and he didn't want to float the company. So in this case, it's going to go up for auction. Uh, everyone's going to bid, and whoever ends up winning the bid is going to go ahead and pay uh, that amount of money to the bank and then he will go ahead and get the presidency card now one thing you'll also be able to do on your turn is you'll be able to sell shares so let's say it's the dog's turn and we're looking at the screen here and it's up to 28 right now so let's say the dog's like i want to go ahead and sell some of my shares so i'll say sell the bank i'll pick the dog number three so let's say i decide i'm going to go ahead and sell two shares i'm going to get 52 pounds back so i made a little bit of money so now uh, i own three shares and uh, the boot has two. Now, I'm still the president because I have the most amount right now, but during the game, that can't switch. And if that happens, you'll just simply uh, switch the presidency card over. Now, also on my turn, if I want to, I'll be able to trade shares with people. I'll be able to trade retail stores, utilities, and uh, get out of jail free cards if I would like to. Outside of my turn, I've got a few options too. Uh, I can sell the utilities or railroads back to the bank. I can go ahead and do trades. I can bid on items. And uh, then I'll also be able to collect rent for any of the stores or the utilities that I own. Okay, so let's say uh, the dog has gotten to go and now he's going to go ahead and collect his dividends. So what he'll do is he'll hit go. Now he's going to get 200 million pounds from the get-go. So this is just going to say how much extra he's going to get. And this says he's going to get 10 million extra pounds. Now if you end up landing in jail because you rolled doubles or landed on the go-to-jail space or a card sent you there... I've got a few options. You can try to roll doubles in three turns. If you do, you'll just move out of jail that way. You can go ahead and pay uh, 50 million pounds in a fine, and then you'll roll and get out of jail that way, or you can just simply use a get out of jail free card. 
Okay, so let's just say the car ended up having the presidency card to these three companies. This is going to give him a monopoly. So now he'll have the option of buying offices uh, to try to increase uh, the rent and the price of the shares. Right now, this is the amount of those the shares are, and these numbers have gone up. So let's say I hit uh, offices, and I'm going to go ahead and select company number seven. And let's say I want to build two offices over there. You'll note that the this is the price. I'll hit confirm. So let's just say I built two offices for each of them and I spent this much. Now you'll see that the uh, stock price has gone up. And let's say the boat ended up landing on this and he's going to end up uh, having to pay rent. Let's say it's the boat. He goes there. And let's say he lands on property number six. And this is how much he's going to owe is 300 million pounds. So you can tell that the amount has gone up. And then I'll go ahead and place that number of offices there on the company like so. Now, if you wanna go ahead and sell offices back, you can do that as well. Hit the number, and let's say I wanted to just do one office instead. I would just go ahead and just say one, hit confirm, and uh, then I'll go ahead and sell the offices that way if I wanna do that. Now, if you wanna purchase a share from player, you can do that as well. Let's say I say buy from player, and let's say the hat wants to purchase a share from the car. So he'll just say the car, it's like the company number, let's just say six. Um, and let's just say he decides he wants to buy uh, three shares. And uh, hits confirm. Now, if it turns out the change of presidency ends up breaking one of the monopolies, the unit is going to go ahead and sell off any of the offices, head offices to the bank at half the price. Now, if it turns out you end up landing on a space or a player, you end up owing more money than you have and you can't raise enough by selling either your shares or buildings or whatever, you're going to end up going bankrupt and going out of the game. And to remove a player, you'll just simply hit remove player. Now, if you end up owing a debt to the bank, the bank is going to go ahead and get all of your cash and your retail and utility cards and any get out of jail free cards you have will go back to the bottom of the bull pile. If it turns out the bankruptcy is related to a rent payment you can't afford, and then they're gonna claim all your cash and your get out of jail free card if you have it. But any unpaid debt, they're not gonna receive compensation for. Uh, one thing you can do also is you can hit the total button. And this is gonna tell you how much uh, everybody has as far as dividends. Anyway, you're gonna go ahead and continue playing the game until, uh, until everybody goes bankrupt except one person or you set a time limit, it expires, and then everyone counts up their assets, their money, and everything, and whoever has the most is gonna win. And that, folks, is Monopoly Stock Exchange. Need extra income? Check out this opportunity. You can invest in a vending machine from vend-co.com, and they will place it in a business or office for you. You keep all the money that the machine makes. For more information, check out the link in the description.